Now, if this isn't one of the most beautiful cities in the UK, I don't know where it is. A formidable castle up on the hill offering amazing 360 panoramic views of the city, quaint cobbled streets and passageways lined with quirky independent retailers and cafes, and an incredible cathedral that can be seen from miles around. Then there's these guys. Welcome to Lincoln. Now obviously we had to start our day with coffee because there is no other way to start a day of exploring and we just nipped into a place called 200 Degrees Coffee. I think it's like a local chain to the East Midlands. There seems to be a few locations all over the place. I need to cross the road. I'm going to be your guide <laughs> while you talk. Um, and we had an Americano, which is good because uh, it warmed our hands up. It's oh, a little bit fresh this morning. Everything's cold. Every tap I've used is ice cold this morning. I don't understand why. And also we had some food. We had a sausage, bacon and egg brioche bun which was really nice and uh, we're gonna need that energy because we are heading towards the castle and the cathedral but to get there we have to go up a steep hill wait what yeah, <laughs> yeah. and it's not any old steep hill it is literally called steep hill so that's how you know when a hill is steep because that's its name that's my and way to burn breakfast off then officially the fourth steepest hill in England ah oh, look the Sun came out for that one <laughs> <laughs> All coming back to me now <laughs> yeah we've been here once before although i'm pretty sure it looks steeper than it, it does before. look steeper but the camera doesn't do it justice the only plus is it's not summer so the state of me when i get to the top will probably do it justice i was reading online apparently it's just over 16 degrees the gradient hmm. It's not 16 degrees in temperature though. <laughs> I was stupid to believe that that first bit was the bit. Then I saw this bit and I thought, okay, one more bit. But now there's another bit. There is. You're only about halfway. <laughs> <laughs> I think we may have done the steepest bit though. I hope so, but it seems to be getting steeper and steeper and steeper. And we did make a little bit of a mistake on the first bit as well, because there's two parts. There's like this smooth path part, and then there's like a cobbly part. And we, of course, walked on the cobble road and I nearly tripped over multiple times. <sighs> We'll stick to the cobble ground, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> wait, hey, what? No, we'll stick to the smooth one. Oh, wait. You know what I mean. <laughs> That's after a coffee, gee. Well, they knew we were coming. They rolled out. They rolled out two, two. big guns. One there and one there. We've got one each mm. today. Quite a good size. They are a good size. <laughs> Be very quiet. The castle walls seem to have been breached by two drag. Look. I think we woke them. <laughs> I was going to say the castle walls have been breached by two dragons, but I think everyone can see that. That is so cool. I like that. That definitely wasn't here last time we were here. Either. No, 100%. That's a really good touch, that. It is. Right, uh, we'll leave you to snooze. So we get to start our tour of Lincoln Castle in the Magna Carta vault, which is where one of only four copies of the Magna Carta, surviving Magna Carta copies yep. is kept. We can't film in there because nope. obviously it's a sensitive document. This will be the second one we've seen. It is the second one. We've seen yeah. this one before and we saw one in Salisbury Cathedral. The second one this year? Yeah, it is. We're oh, doing well. well. It's only March. See if we can though. see them all this year. Right, to the vaults. Let's do it. We'll see you after. Now we are not the biggest history buffs in the world, but even we can appreciate when we see something incredible and it is pretty amazing to walk up to a piece of parchment from 800 years ago and hear the woman tell us that it's still fully legible and still has ink on it. Now we saw the copy of the Magna Carta in Salisbury Cathedral. This one is definitely in better condition. Nice shoes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice shoes. Nice shoes. We've made our way in to Lincoln Prison, mm -hmm. but um, before we get into the prison proper, there's a random sarcophagus and some nice shoes. And of course, there's always creepy faces. Yeah, I think that's what they think 
he would have looked like. Is that right? If I remember correctly. Oh, the person from the sarcophagus. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah, that makes sense. Well done for reading. See, no, I just remembered from last time. Oh, okay. <laughs> so apparently, this is the female wing of the prison that we're starting in. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I think I remember the last time she made you jump. There's a in here. This is what they would have worn. Yeah, female prisoners. Lovely it's actually outfit. not bad, is it? She if looks quite good. I think nowadays, though, they wouldn't let you have something like that because you would probably strangle hang yourself. Like yeah. You would hang yourself, <laughs> you'd strangle someone. You're not allowed to string. No, you're not allowed pockets and stuff like that. She could hide anything anywhere in there. A couple mm. of bread rolls. And then this is what the matron would have worn. Mmm, matron. What's she hiding under that dress? She's a lot shorter as well than the prisoner. She's very short. If you think, I'm very tall. Put her in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go, cell number five. This is what one of the women's cells would look like. This is actually quite large. I'm quite surprised. And it's really light and airy in here for a prison as well. I would have been able to do knitting. Look, imagine giving prisoners knitting needles these days. Do you reckon they'll let me borrow their toilet? D uh... Would you want to borrow the toilet? It looks kind of small. It's very round, it's very odd. Okay, so we're now in the male wing of the prison and the first thing we both noticed is it's so much bigger than the female side. I'm just going in a cell like you do, you know. Um, and I'm going to assume that that's probably because there was more men in prison. Us men are more naughty. Yeah, <laughs> naughty, naughty boys. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I see you. Hey, guard, what's for dinner? Gaffin. Ah. Scrub! Oh, freaking hell! Oh, I can't be bothered. Yeah, you can. Go on. You've got to entertain yourself. You're in prison. There's no TVs or anything in here. It's Victorian. I haven't done a pub. Oi! There you are. I haven't done a puzzle since I was five, and that was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> but listen here, you've got a friend. Ooh. William Clark's dog. Is that real? It was. Is it? Is it stuffed? Oh no, right, that's enough. Whoa. Now I did comment over the other side that I thought these cells were actually quite big, but I just had a thought, mm. how many people would have been in here? Because there's no beds in these ones. So mm. would you have had- You'd sleep on that. Oh yeah. How did you not see that? You've just I don't know. over that. That was the first thing I, I was saw. expecting like bunk beds or something, you know, like three high bunk beds. So there would have been like six prisoners in here or something. Oh, I can see on the next level when we get there, there's some sort of hammocky bed. Oh, so maybe a talus, but I, I reckon there would have been at least six in here. Maybe there's naughty levels. You'd have got your own little mug issued, little tin. Don't know about the food though. That looks like, I won't even tell you what that looks like. Actually, it looks a bit like fudge. <laughs> I don't think it would have been fudge. It is giving off Alcatraz vibes though, isn't it? It this really bit. is. Smaller scale, obviously. Oh, but mass like. I guess a lot of prisons are kind of similar setup though, right? But it's cool. It makes me want to go back to Alcatraz. <laughs> There's another corridor though, there's people just walk past. <laughs> I'm a nervous disposition today anyway. Come on, have a look at this. Well, funny you should say that. I saw a man dressed up earlier and I was like, I want a funky outfit. Apparently, I am the prison surgeon in this. <sighs> Do I be Cinderella? <laughs> Cinderella? <laughs> you can be a chaplain or a prison governor. You can be governor. I don't look like a surgeon. You I look, look like, like you're going to Dickens novel. That, that looks Mate, really weird. Really big. <laughs> it does make your bum look really big. So this is the one with the beds in. And as you can see, there would have been three raised off of the floor. And it says, obviously the cells would have been crowded. But I'm going to be honest, that's three less than I thought there was going to be per cell. I have a question. Mm -hmm. So if you're on the bed closest to the door, you're going to have to climb over two other people to get to the toilet. And the person that's the closest to the toilet, if they're going to need a poo, it's not going to be pleasant. That's probably the least of your worries in prison, to be <laughs> fair. Things I think of, you know. <laughs> so this is the last bit of the prison that we've got to see. This is the prison chapel, and apparently it's the only surviving one in the world. Like, it's original to as it is, but there's some really dodgy looking prisoners in here. Guilty. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a courtroom, it's a chapel. Oh. We are gathered here today. We are gathered here today. That's as much as I've got. I've just sent Josh up to where I was standing. Oh. He didn't realise that there was no. like loads of mannequins in the <laughs> booth. That is creepy. 
You need to go see the hairdresser. You are creeping me the hell out. You should have gone to Specsavers. Not a very uplifting sermon you're giving. <laughs> oh, we are welcome here today <laughs> to say that you all are creepy. Well, that was fun. Where now? Apparently this is the way out. How creepy is this? Obviously the camera, <laughs> you saw at the beginning, the camera obviously lightens that up, but that's really creepy. That <laughs> is just creepy. I just turned to the right and is, is he poking over? It does look like he's looking at it right. Okay, time to time exit to go. creepy passage. Go. Leave. <laughs> this is a horror movie. Oh, this is better. Well, the prison was fun. I'm not sure prisons are meant to be fun, but we enjoyed it. There's really lots of like it. interactive stuff in there and lots of exhibits you can mess about with and play, play dress with. up like we did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but we've now made our way on to what is probably the biggest attraction here at Lincoln Castle, and that is the medieval wall walk. The sun has come out for us. It's actually really nice up here. It's really, not too windy. Really lucky. It's very hazy as well, which... I think the forecast is better, actually. Uh, this, this weather is better than the forecast. Yeah. Because I think it was meant to be quite grey all day, so we're quite happy with it. This. I'm happy. But we can walk literally a big 360 all the way around this wall. There's some really incredible views of Lincoln Cathedral, which we're going to go and have a little bit of a closer look at in a little while. There's some really good views across down to the city of Lincoln itself, although it is a little bit hazy today, like you said. But we can see the Victorian prison that we've just taken a tour of. Um, and I think we're going to walk around the back of that in a little while as well to see it from a different angle. And this building in the middle that kind of looks like a castle, ironically, because it's in the castle grounds, but isn't the castle, is the court. It's a crown court, I think, and it's still a working court today. So we can't go in there um, unless you do something naughty in Lincoln and then we go in the courtroom and then in one of them prison cells. Oh, also, we got to look down at the top of the dragon. Yes. You can see him from above in the sun, in all their glory, still smoking. It's bad for you kids. I've got some good news and some bad news. Good news? We're more than halfway around the wall walk. I know what the bad news is, there's loads of steps. Well, that, and I'm pretty certain that this next part of the walk over here, and then to that big pointy bit in the corner over there, is the most terrifying. Well, you can already tell, because it's a sheer drop. Yep. <laughs> Great, let's get it over with, yeah? <laughs> This is quite weird. We've just made our way into this first tower and in the middle of the tower is a cemetery. I don't think I know any other castle where in the middle of the tower they have a cemetery. I didn't even notice till you just said that. And what's really weird as well is they're not headstones like every other cemetery I know. Nope. They're footstones. So that marks where the body's feet are rather than its head. What an iconic view of Lincoln that is with that part of the castle wall the cathedral in the background and then this is the Victorian prison and as I was saying this is a different perspective but at the back of it and I guess this would have been the outside oh, space the exercise we yard. didn't go in the garden we didn't go in the garden well I think garden well, might be the wrong term fact, we, we went in there I completely forgot about that but we can see it from here it's a really nice view of it from here actually quite a big outside space that wall is very high same sign same it's the wall walk that's done it and that steep hill <laughs> yes I think that is the highest point of the wall, and we are about to make our way up there. You first. Through here. Uh, I guess so. Well, we made it to the highest point. Absolutely incredible 360 views up here, but as you can see, Josh is uh, clinging to the middle. I've seen enough. <laughs> It's Beautiful. actually quite low, isn't it, this bit of the side? It's the, if it was higher, I'd be fine, but because it's so low, it's down to my knees, ankles, whatever you want to call them. And to get up here, we had to deal with quite a very narrow, winding, terrifying staircase yep. that we've now got to make our way back down. What are you clinging on? <laughs> it's beautiful. The it stairs beautiful. are like when you go up the Statue of Liberty in New York. Luckily, there's not as many of them. <laughs> my dread. I've got it. Oh, no. Oh, these God. steps. Oh no, they're even worse on the way down. Oh my God. This is going to take a little while, I think. I shouldn't have had that bat for breakfast. Yep, I don't like them steps. Glad that bit's done. Medieval wall walk. Completed it. 
that lunch? good? Lunch? Lunch. lunch. Oh, do you know, actually, do you know what I fancy? I actually fancy an iced coffee. Yep. And then we walk past some bakers. So I think we get an iced coffee and then we go and get a sweet treat from the bakers. Sold. Just the other side of this arch, which is Newgate Arch, is one of Lincoln's top rated coffee shops. So I think we get our coffee from there, we find a cake, and then we go and find somewhere in the sun to sit and eat. I think that sounds... We'll make the most of this weather, I think. Maybe I think by the uh, cathedral. Sounds good, yeah, because it's like a warm hub there. And this is also one of the old entrances to the city. We're going to go and find another one in a little while that's a little bit more impressive than this one, but I do appreciate the fact you can still drive through it. My legs are still wobbling from them still. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've picked up our iced lattes from Coffee by the Arch, and I can see why it's one of Lincoln's top-rated coffee shops, because you can either sit inside and look out onto the road, or, like all them people, you can sit outside in the sun and you've got a view of Newport Arch, I think? No, Newgate Arch. New, new, it's Newport Arch. Look, there's a sign there helping me. <laughs> well, we found a local baker called Curtis and Sons. I've gone for a coconut tray bake and then Josh has got the most enormous cream scone I think I've ever seen. It's absolutely huge. And you were shocked. Why were you so shocked? Well, she, she wrapped them all up and then she said £2.95 and I was like, how much? <laughs> Two pound ninety-five. I was expecting to pay six quid. You're not in London anymore. I'm shocked. I'm Lincoln's shook. cheap. Two pound ninety-five for two cakes. For two of these. I mean, look and at that, the size. That scone is huge as well. Fresh cream in there. So it's that bad boy. Yeah. Look. Nice pairing with our iced lattes. I've had worse views than this for a coffee as well. We're sat right underneath Lincoln Cathedral. Sun's out. Cheers. Cheers to Lincoln. And cheers to a. Uh, a nice sunny day. I'm having a lovely day. Well, it's not every day you sit outside one of the most beautiful cathedrals in the country and then past you comes a horse and carriage followed by Robin Reliant. I mean, you don't see many of them anymore. No. And then like a really beautiful, shiny, classic car. I don't know exactly what it was. What is my name? What's my name? What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> Coffee's gone to your head. It's a Figaro. No, I don't know. <laughs> it's an old car. Also, I have absolutely no idea what is going on in that scene on the side of the cathedral. There's like a devil pulling people's hair and random stuff. It's, it's weird. So we're not actually going to go in the cathedral today. It's £11 each to get in and we've already spent to get in the castle. We chose that over the cathedral. We're more castle people yes. than we are cathedral well, there's more people. To do in the Castle. Yeah. Yeah, whatever it's called. But if cathedral do your thing, £11 each to get in. would like to see the Lincoln Imp one day though, so maybe we'll come back and do that another time. But we're going to head back down into the more modern part of the city again now. But I've decided instead of going back down Steep Hill, which sounds a lot easier than coming up Steep Hill, we're going to go down a different way, a lesser known way, a less touristy way. But I hear it's a very popular spot with Lincoln locals to watch the sunset because the views across the city are meant to be epic. I know we've just been up on the wall walk, but... This is Motherby Hill. It looks really cool and I kind of see what they say about the epic views and I can see the sunset is going to set over in that direction somewhere so I can see why it's a sunset spot. We're not going to be here for sunset. No, we're not. I just thought it'd be a bit of a different way to walk down. We've literally only walked this tiny section at the moment but already... Dry lips? <laughs> Sorry. You was pointing the camera that way. I was like, this is my time. <laughs> Behind the scenes. The lips. <laughs> Still got this main stretch to walk yet, but we're already walking stupid. We're walking, look, like, example. That was literally me two seconds ago walking down that top Because bit. it's so slanted, but they're so cobbly. I feel like I'm in the Ministry of Silly Walks. Yeah. <laughs> it is very uneven though. You can see the cobbles. So, ladies, no high heels. Or gents, or if gents, that's your thing. Whatever. <laughs> I swear, some of these clips, he's making me try to film him and I'm like, I'm gonna fall over. This is what, ooh. Why is there a tiny little door? It's a tiny little door. Just, just there. Live well and prosper. I don't think that's the saying. Or we've made it to the bottom. And if you like your Instagram shots, look how much quieter this is compared to Steep Hill. <laughs> We just turned around and seen this down there and we remember this from before. That 
is the Lincoln Glory Hole. I won't, enough said about that, the better. I won't tell you what I thought it was called. <laughs> no, but it wasn't that. <laughs> Use your imagination. Yeah. <laughs> also, Josh just remembered an interesting fact from last time. Isn't it the oldest bridge with a building on top? Oldest bridge in the country with Old country. buildings on top that still function or still occupied or know. something like that. It's something along that line. It's lines. something like that. Something like that. There you go, there's the back side of the glory hole and that also gives you a clue as to what Josh thought it was called. <laughs> Where to next, boss? I want to go and see that more impressive arch that used to be an entrance to the old city. <laughs> Seen it! He made me walk up a big hill for that one. Hey, I said I wanted to see the other entrance to the city that looked more impressive than Newport Arch, and that was it, Pottergate Arch. It's worth it. Think yourself lucky it wasn't a steep hill I made you walk up again. Well, I think we have found the perfect place to escape the tourists and the hustle and bustle of Lincoln City Centre. It's beautiful in here. We've found the Arboretum and this place is actually really big. Also, there's a maze and it's very well kept from what I can see, but I can imagine in summer, this place would be blooming and heaving. Blooming and booming up. <laughs> but yeah, it is really, really stunning in here. And there's little bridges and everything over these lakes as well. So we're going to explore them in a second, but first, let's go and get lost. Great. <laughs> right, time to take on the maze. I think we'll be all right, because we can see over the top of the hedges. Yeah, because all the leaves haven't grown and it's very short and I'm very tall, so I can just climb over. You can act as my periscope. Right. <laughs> Ooh, let's go. Oh God, there's a step there. Also, there's an entrance there. <laughs> I say left or right, always go, always go, whichever way I go, it's gonna be wrong. I'm going right. I mean, the lady over there and her child has done it. So I think we'll manage somehow. <laughs> Famous last words. Yep, wrong way. <laughs> uh, see, they're down this way as well. Apparently right. there's multiple entrances to the maze. We really? picked the wrong one. <laughs> I might have to strip in a minute. I'm getting a little bit off. After you, madam, you Thank can leave this time. Oh. Fabulous. Follow me. This one thinks he's already sussed it. I've sussed it. it out. So if you turn right here and then turn immediate right, keep walking Can forward. We just go there? Keep walking Can we not just forward. Go there? Keep walking forward. I don't think that's right. No, that's cheating. Did it. That's cheating. Is that not meant to be? I don't no. think this is meant to be. <laughs> so. Okay, hang on a minute. Let me find you. As I was saying, you don't cheat. You follow the right way. It's got and such then long you legs. Turn. He's walking so fast. Right. Ta-da. Or you can just come through there like I did. That's cheating and also I'm sweating. I need to take these, I've got three layers on. Oi, oi, Savaloy. He's stripped down to just one layer. Summer's coming, baby. It's <laughs> not quite Death Valley hot. <laughs> So we're leaving the city centre, but we have got one more place that we want to stop just on the outskirts of the city. And I can actually see it right in front of us as I'm driving along here as well. So we're literally four minutes away. Check out the view back across Lincoln from here. You can see the cathedral, you can see the castle where we were earlier. And when I was talking to you in the car just a second ago, you can even see the road we were driving along, which is obviously why you can see this massive spire on the hill from there. But we've come to International Bomber Command Center. There is an exhibition, 10 pound 50 each, if you're interested in wartime history. We just wanted to see this, the <laughs> spire, and you can come and explore what is called the Peace Gardens around here all day at your heart's content. There's loads of places to sit, chill, just remember everybody. There's everybody's names on the plaques along here and on some of the brickwork on the path. Is this heated? 
I have no idea. No, it's probably warmed up by the sun because it's metal. So yeah, it's £10.50 if you want to do the exhibition. Or you can do what we've done and just pay £3 to park. That's good for all day. Yep. You can literally come and chill out on the benches and stuff around here. Just sit in peace, take it all in, bring Read a picnic. Everything. There's a cafe. We can highly recommend one of the sausage rolls from the cafe here at International Bomber Command. There's a pretty cool view of the spire out of the cafe window as well. Thank you.